Okay, we're gonna do this, and hopefully we stay on topic. So we're not complaining about the government this one. I'm not gonna complain about how protesting doesn't work. Okay, now, um, we were talking about trans awareness month and all that crap. Um, and crap, 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 crap. Oh, finally, 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 the fucking bitch. Yes. Yes. That, that is how we're gonna handle this. <laughs> we're gonna be angry! Because it's gonna help us. Help us get over this shit. Okay. So, Max almost got a mistress. You're like, oh, that's a positive thing. That's confusing. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't make any fucking sense, does it? No. No, it doesn't. I try to make a fucking friend on the internet, and it went poorly. <laughs> Not the first time. <laughs> I was, all, all my interactions are really bad. I get I'm weird, I'm different, I'm fucked up, and I attract that. I get that. But that doesn't mean... Doesn't mean that creeps should take advantage of it. It doesn't mean people should force me into things. It doesn't mean people should be tricking me. Yes, I was tricked, and yes, obviously, all these conversations lasted longer than they needed to, and that they that was healthy, and that was good for me. It took me way longer to figure it out than I was supposed to, and what should have happened, and I only figured it out that I was like, hey, this is wrong, and this is, no. This doesn't work. This is, this is no. 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 Because the mistress online asked for money. And I said, why? Why are you asking for money? And she tried to make me sign a contract. I said, nope. And then we went to work. And we thought about this. And we were like, how do we say no? And then we said no. And then we said no, 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 no. And then she's trying to make me say yes, 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 yes. And I said no, 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 no. And then I had to stop. And I said nope. I can't talk to you anymore. And then I left, and then I talked to someone else, and then I was like, oh, this whole me saying no, and she's trying to make me say yes all the time? And this is a pattern. This is what happened the entire conversation, wasn't it? Since the beginning. Because how did this relationship start out? I wanted a friend online. I saw on their Facebook that they were a Damon, um, Domine, Domin, they were a Dom, they were a friend Dom, and I wanted to be the friend. I was like, oh, you're interested in BDSM. I am too. Okay, this is cool. You have actual, like, experience and stuff. That's what it looks like. So I'm going to friend you, and I'm going to message you. And I asked, um, hey, can I be a friend? Um, I, like, took, like, the BDSM test before. Like, I found out that this interests me. It's something that I'm interested in, and I just want to learn more about it. Um, can you, like, share your experience? Can you, can you tell me more, more things about it? Can you help me learn something about it? Can we be friends? Can, can we talk? Like, sure, yeah, except not really. Nope. Said you being a perfect sub. Fucking bitch! The fucking motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, 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 this bitch. Fucking trying to make me a sub. I'm not fucking having it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm gay. And she's like, doesn't matter, you should still be a sub. I said, yeah, not intimate, intimate shit. She's like, yeah, but you would still have to do, like, some sexual shit. But. And then I was like, okay. And, and she was like, oh, oh, it doesn't have to be, like, sexual. And then she was also like, oh, but it does have to be a little bit of sexual. And I was like, no, no, I'm, I'm gay. And I was also like, oh. And, and I was also like, I'm 100% on the sub. I don't know, I'm dumb. And then she's like, oh, but. And then and then I was like. And then she kept bringing it up. And I was like, well, I, I said I wanted to, like, I said on the test and everything that I was willing to try anything, just about anything, um, and willing to experiment and get out of the comfort zone if it would make my partner happy, and willing to try new things that I wouldn't be comfortable with and I wouldn't normally say with, say yes to, but if I trusted them and I cared about them and they said that I would make them happy, then I would be willing to give it a try. And I also read in the book that how, um, and I believed in my head that, oh, the only way you could be a good dominant good dom you could only way you could really take people's consent and um not push people past their limits and not be abusive is to have been a sub before so i said maybe and then she took that as a yes and then continued and then max was like hey maybe i'm a brat because like when because a brat will like will, will like do 
you tell them or whatever or they 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 maybe want to get in trouble for having a purpose or whatever but let's misbehave a little bit on purpose it's not because they don't respect you or anything like that they just they just can misbehave and so they want to they want to push the boundaries a little bit they, they maybe want to um get a little bit punished or whatever in a dirty way sometimes a little bit of that because they want to be a little bit naughty sometimes and I was like, maybe, maybe I'm a little bit like a brat because, um, because when someone tells me to do something, I'll tell them no because I now have a choice and I have an option and I can't say no, so I will use and abuse that and I don't want to do it. But if they ask me nicely, then if they ask me nicely and everything and I did say no, I'll still probably actually do it though. So like, I, I, you said no, I, you, you told me to do something, so I'm not going to do it and I told you no. But I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it because it'll help you out. And I want to, and I want to help you, and I care about you, and I love you. So I'm going to do this thing for you. We just got to say no first. And I was thinking that kind of made me, like, a little bit of a brat. And then I was thinking, and then I was like, hey, maybe I'm a sub. Because, like, I don't have any control over my body, and I've never been in control of, like, my fidgeting or, or my entire life. or I, I don't have any control. I crave control, but I don't have any control. And I was like, maybe, just maybe, if, like... And then I was like, oh, it would be really nice if, like, there was someone I trusted and I loved and, like, I cared about um, who could be in control when I don't have any control. It would be really nice when, when I don't have any control over anything that they would be able to control it. They, they could control the situation. They could help calm me down. They could help control, make me, give me, they'd help me, like, give me back some of the control. They, they'd give me some stability. They, they'd give the control. I didn't have any of the control, but they, they controlled it. And I trusted them. And they'd control the situation. So like, oh, maybe, maybe a little bit of a sub. Yeah, I was like, that is not what the test result said. <laughs> and that's more of just about being trusting in a relationship. I was like, that's more about healthy relationships. Max is like, no, that, that is just about healthy relationships. Max is like, dang it. You, you don't know anything about healthy and normal relationships. <laughs> you just know you need more than that. Because I know I'm fucked up. And that's why we're like, Especially why I'm so okay with, like, oh, yandere is, like, unhealthy and everything. But for me, like, normal, I love you, I want to believe you. And you'd be like, oh, I do I do a few things here and here and just, like, do a little bit more than the bare minimum. I do what, like, the normal amount, what other people would normally see. And they would think, oh, you would, like, help out more and you, you did all these nice things. So I realized and I believed you when you said I love you and I can trust you. I was like, no, no, I'm fucked up. So that's going to take a whole lot longer. And even if you do all those normal things and you do enough to meet that standard that's not going to be enough it's not going to be enough for me to know that I can trust you and that you love me and that you support me and that I'm safe with you I need more <laughs> I just need more love and affection because I didn't have any <laughs> so you giving a little bit and more than just a little bit it's not enough because we crave it because we didn't have it <laughs> We're trying to replace it with a bunch of other crap. And we just end up replacing it with a lot of negative things. That weren't healthy. And then we realized, oh, that's not healthy. That's not good. And we, we had to stop doing those things. But we don't have any good things to replace it with. So yeah, I have a lot of holes. <laughs> Large hole in my heart. <laughs> and you're like, oh, a normal person. Normal relationship, a healthy relationship. A non-obsessed person, like, other people would be like, oh, that's toxic, they're, like, too controlling, they're just too much. They're, they're trying to, they have too much attention on me, they're giving me too much attention, too much affection, just, I can't, I can't do it. Like, no, I need that. <laughs> you, you need to replace the affection that I never got. <laughs> like, they need to replace the affection I was supposed to get as a child, and what you would want in a relationship and they it's too much if they're trying to replace if they're replacing the affection you're supposed to have for yourself so that's another issue because you're, you're supposed to you're supposed to contribute towards the affection towards yourself a little bit comes from you a little bit was supposed to come from your parents but that didn't happen maybe you made a little bit of a supportive family a few friends so you get a little bit from them but it's only a little bit from you, and it's a little bit from friends. And it was supposed to be a lot from your friends and family, but it's only a little bit. Because life was not nice to you. So they gotta replace it. 
So you probably never gotta gotta replace it and they gotta steal it. And you can you can replace it more with more friends and more love and affection from your friends. But for the most part you just try to fill that gap with the the love you had towards your friends instead of putting more love towards yourself. That's not good. But yeah. So man. And then, mostly, the only thing I really learned from this interaction <laughs> was we get tricked easily. We are desperate, and we, we are wrong a lot, a lot of things. It's revealed a lot of our problems, a lot of issues. Yeah. And we were like, oh, that's probably basic things that you need in, like, a normal relationship. You, you get that crap. But you... <sighs> I need a little bit more than that. <laughs> I need a little bit more. <laughs> and also, I definitely need, like, I say this or whatever because I was taught, because I was like, the people who said they love me would always hurt me, so to express love and affection seems a little bit more violent. Obviously, they would have to consent to it, but it just makes sense in our head, and that's what we were taught. And it would be best if they were a little bit of a masochist anyway, because then probably a little bit of a sadist anyway, before, and then just add on with the crap we were taught, and then, and then because we were taught all this negative crap and all these bad things, it'd probably just pop up if we had a, a normal relationship, it might accidentally pop out, and I don't mean to, maybe an accident, and instead of that, you could harness it, and you could be like, oh, all this, like, violence and all this stuff that you've been suppressing and you've been trying to hide and you didn't realize needs to be expressed and now it can be expressed in a safe and a good way and not a harmful way. All the anger, all the stress, it can be expressed in a violent way that doesn't actually harm others because they, they want a little bit of the violence and stuff like that. Okay. Um, yeah. No, so that, I was going to do another video about Yandere, I'll probably dive deeper into that. Um, but yeah, the only thing, like, I really learned, um, was because she called me a good boy, which also meant I agreed to more things. So I have Give me one compliment. I'm fucked. <laughs> because Max is desperate and expects to be rejected and hated. So, when you don't automatically hate me, I open up myself a little bit more. I was like, okay. A little bit more open. So just since I was like, hey, you're... you're into BSM. You're, you're a little bit different, you're a little bit quirky, other people would think you'd be a little bit weird. So you'd be okay with me being a little bit weird. Be a, more, a little bit more likely to be ex accepting of me. And then they were, they were trying to make me... They wanted me to wear a woman's clothes and shit like that. And then I was like... <laughs> she was like, wear a bra for me! And I was like... I'm trans. I don't want to. We already are. <laughs> not something I want. This is something that happens. Okay, <laughs> something we have to do. Something we're not really confident about. Something we're gonna we're getting a little bit more confident about and trying, and being a little bit more okay with feminine clothing, and just being a little bit open and not so negative towards it. We're getting a little bit better at something we can explore a little bit, but no. <laughs> so to answer that question, I, I had to come out, and then she wasn't toxic. She wasn't really supportive either. Yeah, she, she wasn't really supportive. She still wanted me to sub and we didn't want to be a sub in a goddamn first place. Not what we wanted. <gasps> I could maybe in the future ever have a switch because like have a switch in charge because those times would be like, I'm not in control, so I need you to be in control. So I trust you. <laughs> trust and love you so you can be in control. I can't control everything and I'm not in control and I can't do it. I want to, but I can't. So I need you to control it for me. You be in charge. Yeah. Um, but she wants to be in charge of everything, and she wants me to obey her and not question anything. Goddamn contract. All it says, you must obey and follow her rules, and they want to send time period. Like, how the fuck am I supposed to know how long a relationship lasts? It could be a year, it could be six months, it could be two fucking minutes. And it was what I expected. It lasted as long as the conversation did online. It was a couple weeks, maybe at most. Maybe like two weeks. It was a couple days. Yeah. And you already caused trauma! <laughs> Thanks! You didn't really cause trauma, you just brought out all my issues. Thank you so much. Max pissed off. 
But we, we were happy because I was like, oh, it's something new, it was something new. I was like, someone accepted us and they called us a good boy. I was like, that was acceptance because they called me good and they called me a boy. They were very happy. And then I also figured out, I was like, oh. And because of that, I was like, that's... Because the opposite of that is called degradation. Compliments of, like, the compliments um, and everything is degrading. And then I was like, oh, degrading is an abuse. Oh. I didn't know that. I thought I thought part of it was their verbal abuse. Because that's what I was used to getting. I was like, that's what we grew up on. I, I thought it was a little bit bad. Apparently, it's not abuse at all. <laughs> It's, it's all just whenever they wanted it, and I was like, I knew it wasn't an abuse, but I thought it was a little bit of abuse, as like, as a punishment, but I was like, no, no, because it could be used, like, as teasing, and then, like, as a real, like, punishment, like, you did something bad, and you need to, like, think about this, and you need a little bit of punishment, and you only need a punishment, and, like, a timeout or something like that, something really light, um, you, you only need it because... So you can move on and get over it. So you can stop punishing yourself. That's what it really is. Because, like me, their issue is that they hold on to every little thing that they did wrong. And they freak out about it and they want to punish themselves for it. Because they messed up. Instead of them punishing themselves, and obviously hurting themselves or and taking advantage of that and not being like, Oh, that that's I, I shouldn't do that. I And reacting in a negative way. They give that power to someone else and be like, oh, and then they decide the punishment and it's going to be a lot lighter than what they think they deserve. Because in, the, in their head, they made a huge big deal and they're like, oh, now now, now I don't deserve food anymore because I, I, I was bad. I did something bad. I and now, now it makes me a horrible person. I'm the worst person in the world. It's like, it's really negative. Negative crap. And instead of that, I'd be like, no. Like, yeah, you messed up. But you know you messed up. But do you know how to fix it? Okay, you know how to fix it, and now you know how to not do it next time. And I made this clear and this obvious to you. And usually, during that time, they would use some negative words to help express it, because they're probably mad at you. But they're not going to hit at you. They're not going to hit you or anything like that. They're not going to make you have to use your code word or anything like that. You, you don't have to use your safe word. You... You usually get, like, a light punishment. Um, something like, maybe, probably, like, no dessert. Like, hey, I was going to give you, like, a pudding, because you were good today. And you really like pudding, and I bought pudding. And I thought it would be a nice treat for you, but you did something bad, so you don't get a pudding today. It, it can be as simple as that. Stuff that you were supposed to be taught <laughs> from your parents. Things that you were supposed to do, that your parents were supposed to do. That's what happens. It wasn't them just 